Hey, Spirit Scholars, welcome to another edition of PhD in Me TV. Pursuing a higher degree in me. I am your student teacher. And for Shona is loved. Trying to position myself in this camera to get the best light out here in nature. And when I do that, which blocks the sun, it blocks my pretty brown eyes. So I can't do that. And it looks like this is going to be the best spot. So yes, I'm out here in nature. And I just wanted to come to you once again with this Think Happy book and your mental mojo for today. I've been getting so much positive feedback from yesterday's video and um, I'm excited about that because that means that you guys are excited yourselves about using your words to be an inner cheerleader instead of an inner fear leader. So if you are excited about that and all the other wonderful things that we have in store right here on PhD in Me TV, make sure you subscribe right now. Don't hesitate. Leave a thumbs up and a like. And also, um, just make sure to leave a comment. Let's interact, all right? Because I really am excited about building a positive space here on YouTube, okay? And so I'm just going to move forward in uh, Miss Karen Salmonson's introduction of, again, this book, Think Happy. The lady passed by being nosy. <laughs> So it seems that there is some science behind the idea of positive words. And one of the things that Ms. Samuelson has written here is that it is a fact that a range of neuroscientific studies support how positive affirmations, when consistently repeated, can wind up sinking into the subconscious mind, thereby affecting a person's sense of self and their behavior. And you know what that reminds me of, spirit scholars? As a Afro-Christian spiritualist, that reminds me of what the Bible says when it says, faith come by hearing. Essentially what she's saying is, the more you repeat something, the more you believe it, the more it gets into your subconscious mind and you act on it. And it's the Bible's way of saying when it says, faith come by hearing, the more you hear something, the more faith you develop from the hearing of it okay so isn't that wild how you know even though i originally heard that concept in the bible um things have a way of seeping into other areas even in the secular world the pep talks that she has in her book she says are far catchier and more logically convincing than mere affirmations making them more liable to linger in your mind like a catchy song you can't stop humming she said you will find yourself instinctively playing these pep talks in your head as helpful reminders to keep moving forward the result will be when used regularly these pep talks and these words will change your neural pathways so you are more inclined to think optimistic thoughts which lead to positive habits, which lead to a positively happier life. Karen says her mission with this book is for it to become your inner power tool for staying strong, confident, and happy. No matter how much you gotta be freaking kidding me, life throws at you. A quick flip through will help you find the right words to say during a challenging time to yourself or to a loved one. Now in that case, um, my inner power tool is the God within, but this could definitely be a tool to just spark creativity and spark, you know, just being able to get the right word that you need for whatever circumstance you may need it for. Karen says that throughout her life, she experienced how the right turn of phrase can be very powerful. She said when she was a child, her mother used to say, if you do what you always do, you'll get what you always get. She says such a simple phrase, but it has continued to influence her throughout her life. 
And she said now she's a mom and she uses the same phrase with her son. <laughs> she said all of these pep talks and these words are actually good with children. And she said and the children will permanently absorb these uplifting words and then wind up growing up with an inner cheerleader as their inner voice instead of an inner fear leader. And I really like that. An inner cheerleader instead of an inner fear leader. That is awesome. She gives a quote by one of my heroes, Muhammad Ali, and she says that he said, it's the repetition of affirmations that leads to belief. And once that belief becomes a deep conviction, things begin to happen. She says these mindfully crafted pep talks have served her well to stay strong and full of faith in all that life has to offer. And she hopes that they'll also bring us in penetrable resilience to keep moving forward and upward and you guys know that upward is how we move when we are pursuing a higher degree in ourselves right spirit scholars and so with that i want to remind you that you are loved because indeed you are and i want to let you know that i'm coming at you with the joy that gives me strength Abundant love, beloveds. <laughs>